Here's first pages of David Sedaris' Dress Your Family in Corduroy and Denim. <clears throat> Us and Them. When my family first moved to North Carolina, we lived in a rented house three blocks from the school where I would begin the third grade. My mother made friends with one of the neighbors, but one seemed enough for her. Within a year, we would move again, and as she explained, there wasn't much point in getting too close to people we would have to say goodbye to. Our next house was less than a mile away, and the short journey would hardly merit tears or even goodbyes, for that matter. It was more of a see-you-later situation, but I still adopted my mother's attitude, as it allowed me to pretend that not making friends was a conscious choice. I could if I wanted to. It just wasn't the right time. Back in New York State, we had lived in the country, with no sidewalks or streetlights. You could leave the house and still be alone. But here, when you looked out the window, you saw other houses and people inside those houses. I hoped that in walking around after dark, I might witness a murder. But for the most part, our neighbors just sat in their living rooms watching TV. The only place that seemed truly different was owned by a man named Mr. Tomkey, who did not believe in television. This was told to us by our mother's friend, who dropped by one afternoon with a basket full of okra. The woman did not editorialize. Rather, she just presented her information, leaving her listener to make of it what she might. Had my mother said, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. I assume that the friend would have agreed, and had she said, three cheers for Mr. Tomkey, the friend likely would have agreed as well. It was a kind of test, as was the okra. To say that you did not believe in television was different from saying that you did not care for it. Belief implied that television had a master plan and that you were against it. It also suggested that you thought too much. When my mother reported that Mr. Tomkey did not believe in television, my father said, well, good for him. I don't know that I believe in it either. That's exactly how I feel, my mother said. And then my parents watched the news and whatever came on after the news. First pages of David Sedaris's Dress Your Family in Corduroy and Denim, available here at Another Read Through.